Gal show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. He's a rep with Johnny Domino and Big Data. Put the rest again, and I mean, what did ghetto ways to do to you, brother? <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> it's just something about uh, when we left the school board, <laughs> the ghetto way page just wouldn't work no more. I say, uh, hey man, I don't, I don't even know how to follow the guidelines. Obviously, I don't. Cause you're, you're, you're a rebel. You're a, guy, you're a guideline breaker. <laughs> I need therapy because I don't even know what I did, Damon. I don't even know what I did. These mics sound low to you? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I am Big Domino. And that is my co-host, Mr. Johnny Domino. On this beautiful morning. If y'all, yeah. If y'all, yeah. If y'all uh, have not been tuned in, let me up to date, put y'all up to speed. Ghetto Ways <laughs> 1 and Ghetto Ways 2.0 is blocked Bro. from going live. Oh, bro. Y'all can follow us on Facebook or catch the show, this show next week on Spotify, YouTube, uh, Apple Music. Uh, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio app. And, of course, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. We're going to really roll out a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Oh, and then we we, we got to tell them we're pushing back uh, Petticoat. Yeah, Petticoat is going to be next week. Next week going to be Petticoat. So if y'all have any, um, any, if, any, any situations. Non-criminal shit, man. I don't any situations that you feel like was petty, petty, that somebody took too far or, you know, in their feelings about it, you want to get that off your chest. Hit yeah. us up. You can DM me. You can DM Domino. You can DM the Get Aways page. We wanna we wanna make light of some situations that could you know prevent people falling out. Well, I'm just trying to see could we work it out for you, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's us and, 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 and don't come up in here thinking you're right. You know what I'm saying? Because what we are gonna do is we gonna we gonna check out the facts and we are gonna see either you was petty or, or they was petty. Or maybe both of y'all. Or maybe both of you motherfuckers were petty. You know what I'm saying? That's all petty court is about. Uh, and and be, we want the people who are willing to try to work it out. Who bring the people you care about that you really don't want to be beefing with. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I said this the other day. You know why real niggas don't really get into it, Dana? Because a real nigga gonna say he's sorry if right. he's wrong. Right. He gonna apologize. And number two, real niggas don't make unforgivable mistakes. Right. Like no matter how much I piss you off, no matter how much you get mad at me, you ain't gonna never have to be like. Man, nigga, Domino raped somebody, or Domino hurt an old lady, or Domino fucked over kids, or Domino ratted. You ain't gonna get none of that out of me. Right. So when I do something messed up, it's something that you can come talk to me about. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it go. That's what people don't understand. A lot of people who claiming to be this, this, and that, them character flaws, it's certain stuff you should never do and never be able to have anybody. Like, you gotta think about it. If somebody say something about you, Dana, I know you. Right. Your character speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? If they say Dana was setting niggas up at the hotel, getting them killed, that wasn't Dana. That never, never that. That wasn't Dana. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If if a nigga say Dana, Dana took these old lady checks and went and wrote a whole bunch of them, that ain't Dana. That show ain't. And I guess what? We ain't perfect. I done been all kind of uh criminal. <laughs> Just not that kind. Just not that kind, man. Not cutthroat. <clears throat> nah, man. I never been. I, I, I got people and friends who have been cutthroats, real slime balls, mm-hmm. maggots, mm-hmm. you know, but to a certain degree, they're going to turn on you at one point. Yeah. You know? I had to learn that, too. Like, if you see them doing it to somebody else, best believe, buddy, they yo, do it yo, to you. Yeah, you, so you, you, you can't even enjoy yourself. Are you, you really not a true friend? 
if, if I gotta be on guard around you all the time. Yeah, yeah. If I'm uncomfortable around you, I ain't gonna hang with you. Right. Period. I used to try to uh, buck the system all the time and be like, man, fuck that. I wanna go see what it is. I wanna go check it out. I wanna go see for myself. Right. Nah, shh. Man, fuck you. I'm gone. Right. I'm gonna get up out the wind, man. Cause bad energy, man, you can feel it. We just be ignoring it. Yeah. And then sometimes when you be on that street shit, God be talking to you, you be like, man, I ain't scared of nothing. That's a discern. I ain't scared of nothing. But that's an insecurity too. Yeah. That's you not realizing that you ain't got to go prove this point right now. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta listen to God and don't go down there. You know, right. even when <laughs> even when the devil say, I bet you won't come on here. Come and bring your stupid. Man, it's a trap, man. Get to get on down. Cause guess what? At the end of the day, man. People gonna talk about you in, in about two weeks. If you die, they're gonna talk about you two talk weeks. You go to jail, they're gonna talk about you two weeks. You get busted, they're gonna talk about you two weeks, and then guess what? They're looking for the next best uh tragedy. Right. To get a little attention, a little clout on. They got people who even be doing all that crying looking for attention when, when people die, you ain't even fooled them people like that. Not 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 that was your best friend. You just when you talk to him three minutes right. ago. Every time, every time somebody dies, it, you you always hear, that was my best friend. That was my cousin. That was my brother. He was my boyfriend. I was his fiance. And when people die, that, that's my br- Oh, Lord. Where you was? He told me he was finna leave her. Huh? Where he was? Where you was? Oh, man. get off that shit, man. <laughs> Crazy. Hey man, fuck this shit, man. Live your life, man, and, and try to stay out of the way of that bull. And, and the more stuff you learn on how, I'm telling you, look, take this off. I be watching how people be arguing, right? People be arguing about nothing, man. The majority of the time, they will get in an argument over popcorn for a nigga argue about who gonna pay this light bill. You know what I'm saying? This light bill been cruising lately. <laughs> yeah. I spent about eight hundred dollars on light bills the last two months. Nigga, I don't want to argue with you That's about petty. a picture or oh, what's right and what's wrong, nigga. I don't want to talk about that. I said what I said and did what I did, and I take the leak for whatever, whatever. But, man, let's figure out how to get business credit and, and, and how to do some other stuff, man. How to get uh, lines of credit on the bit. Man, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something that's productive. You feel me? Because arguing, and anybody can do that. Yeah. I mean, birds, birds pick and mock at each other all day. So, I mean, it, it, anything with life can know know how to be an agitator. Yeah, you know what I peep from this ghetto way shit too, Dana? What's that? It's niggas and bitches that really be having a little feeling about something, and they too scary to just come out and say, I don't like you. Oh, oh. I got a problem with you. They ain't got to say So it. this is what they do. They say little stuff and try to dig your attention. Like, the, the part that I don't like about it, when dudes do it to me, it be seeming kind of like... Weird. <laughs> With them tight-ass shirts <laughs> Tight-ass pants. <laughs> what? Bro, Why bro, you watching me so Bro, you look this little boyfriend. <laughs> you, must, you must like me. Did I take your girl back in the days? I don't want that girl, man. I like my girl. <laughs> Fuck your girl. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with no nigga woman. I don't, I'm chilling, no dog. More. Yeah, no more. Yeah, if, no if, more. If, if it's that old, though, think about it, thing. Yeah. If it's that old, dog, I've been here. Whatever happened, I was in my whole phase. <laughs> you and know if, what I'm and saying? If she fell, if she fell weak for you, for your meat, this that's on her. And guess what? She gave it to me. She sure did, cause you ain't put no gun to her head. <laughs> 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 she popped that shit off, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Some people are like you. They got they got a girl that don't like you because her old man like your pictures too much. Ooh, ooh. Let's talk about it. Talk about it, D. Let's talk about it. I, I had a hashtag the other day and it said, <laughs> I am a real, I am a, I'm, 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 it says, if your man don't like me, it's probably because I know it's real jacket. Mm-hmm. Oh, I curved him. Right. And if a female don't like me, a man do. <laughs> you know. That sounds like some pimp shit. It's, it's the truth, you though. You know what I'm saying? So, I, don't, I ain't never not once in my life picked up my phone or went to to you as a woman. It mm. ever. Yeah. In all my life. Yeah. I ain't never had, and I didn't have some men who, 
<laughs> Baby, you go through that phone, you're going to lose 80 pounds in one yeah. week. <laughs> you was doing all this? Ooh, no, I'm saying, <laughs> if I would have gone through the phone. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I would have seen them out. Baby, I would have been sick, couldn't eat, couldn't cry. Baby, I'm sorry I caught you cheating. My shirt ain't going to be tight no more. I go through my girl phone. And I guarantee I find something I don't like. I, that's it, the thing. You going to find you something. Don't you don't look for it. If you look for it. For it anything, that, anything that's in that phone going to set you off if you went to look for something <laughs> right. in that phone. Because you went there to get set off. Yeah. I ain't, I'm definitely not going to go make myself upset. <laughs> Hey, I ain't finna do it. Hey, man. I'm For what? You. If I'm the happiest person, I, I had a homeboy. My people went through his phone. Mm -hmm. And she, she was like, oh, it, 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 you know, saying yeah. this, that, and other. And he said, you was the happiest Owen Bad <laughs> Before you went through Before that. you went through my phone. <laughs> Nah, you the you the most miserable. I'm the worst person in the world. But a day ago, yeah. you was the happiest person in the yeah. world. Yeah. I've, I've learned I've learned to mind my business. And guess what? I ain't gonna speak holy to now. I done had my light skin moment. I remember trying to make niggas get into it with me, just building shit up on them. Because a you knew that they liked your people. No, I knew he even hit my bitch, yeah. and I couldn't do nothing about it, man. I'm talking about yeah. niggas. Niggas straight up told me one time, I ain't got no problem with you, homie. I ain't got no problem with you, homie. I'm like, damn. I want this nigga to get biggity. I'm being messy and everything, man. That nigga ain't, man. I'm telling you, man. I, and then get what? I had to check myself, man. I had to be like, boy, you acting like a hoe. Yeah. He was acting like a hoe ass nigga, man. I be having them conversations in my head, dog, for real. Like, man, leave that alone. That man, that man, she, look, this what had happened, man. Not what had happened. This what had happened. Me and the dude that kind of had words in the club. I'm turned up in the club mall on the furniture, popping bottles. And uh, my 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 people was right there, and you know this, this, this the one, you know one of them ones that you really like a lot, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so dude was kind of just staring, and he trying to get at her, and I'm telling her move around. So he ended up looking crazy or something like, man, what's wrong with you, dog? You know me? Boom, we passed words or whatever. I'm like, man, this ain't what you want, homie. Whatever, whatever. Boom. Kind of like they break it up a little. I'm like, man, we ain't finna do nothing, man. Dude don't wanna do nothing, man. Y'all tripping. Like everybody kind of, y'all chill out, chill out. We can't have good night type shit, right? Right. And so I'm like, oh, bitch, that nigga. So boom, <clears throat> I ain't think nothing of it. Double back. <laughs> that nigga hit me hard, though, dog. <laughs> I wish we'd have had a fight. I wish Ooh. we'd have had a fight, cuz if he, if, even if he'd have beat me up, it wouldn't have hit as hard as what he did. Just got stole on. Yeah, I, I took that. Ooh, that nigga punched it. But guess what? That nigga hit him. <laughs> About two, and look, I don't know how long it took, but that nigga hit him. And then he Still played me. This, this, this nigga played me even different, Dana. I couldn't start no fight with this nigga. I'm trying to start a fight with him, man. I'm being a whole ass nigga. I'm, I'm admitting it, dog, being a whole. That man straight up told me I caught him one day. Hey, what's up, man? You say woo 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 woo. I said nah, man. I ain't said none of that, man. I ain't got no problem with you, homie. And guess what? I had to leave it alone. Couldn't bring him out there. And guess what? He won. He taught me a valuable lesson. Sometimes you just gotta knock a nigga girl off when they be playing with you like that. Cause that that hit my heart. I wish we'd have had a fight and he won. That man say knock my girl off. Yeah, he knocked my girl off. <clears throat> she she gave it to him. Yeah. Yeah. They had there was no reflection on you at all other than you, you might Man, been, that was some G shit. That you might have been you might have just was you was slipping on your pimple. Nah, that nigga that nigga did that nigga knew we had work. <laughs> yeah, now I'm finna get at your girl. Yeah. yeah, now I'm finna get at your girl. She 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 gonna be mesmerized by me. Hey, salute that nigga. Yeah. That nigga did. Was he chocolate? Yeah, <laughs> man, it was a dark skinned nigga too. You already know, man. <laughs> salute, dog. <laughs> man, you did that, man. Say, bro, I'm telling you, Dana, it was just some whole other type of chess going on. Right, right. Because you, like, I could try to kill it like, man, we ain't, we ain't fighting over no female, you know, because it was little words being said and niggas saying this, this, and that. So I went pulled up in the section, you know, being messy like I used to Yeah. Be. I'm a changed man now. Now. <clears throat> pulled up in the section. Yeah, man. Tell who, bitch, that nigga talking to no other niggas. I'm, I'm, you know. Nigga don't care about nothing else, nigga. What's up? You know what you running your mouth for? Dude called back, said, man, man, say he ain't say none of that. See, they had somebody stirring up mess, too. Messy. But I, I needed it to justify me going at him. Yeah, that's, if you looking for it, yeah, you gonna somebody going to get in your ear. That's why if I know, that's, that goes back to the conversation me and you had about a month ago. 
if if your ears is not receptive to what they saying, you can't feel no type of way about it. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to keep certain people out your ear, especially when they know you got a problem with somebody. They gonna oh, come man. feed you every. Oh, yeah. They gonna come feed that to you, and I, I ain't with all that. Don't come tell me nothing. Say it in front of his face and my face at the same time. Oh, uh, uh, this this will kill it all. I uh, just don't say nothing. When y'all gonna start asking these niggas and women? Uh, you asked. You told her that. Yeah. Did you tell them that? Did you tell him that? Did you tell them that? Did you did you did you holler at him about that? <laughs> did you tell them that? That kill all that. Who I, I tell him? You want me to call him right now? Let you, me call him. Yeah, you know, because I don't want him about it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, <clears throat> I ain't know I was missed. How? My mom used to say, straight up, you know, my mama don't kill. You, know, you a mess ass bitch. You always stirring up some shit. You stay on some bullshit. You a mess ass bitch. I'm glad Alicia told you. I'm talking about just like that, yeah. and I was like. How dare you? I'm not messing, man. I'm appalled. I just be standing on the digital. I used to be like, I'm standing on the truth. But guess what? Sometimes that truth don't even need to be heard. It don't even need to be. I had to learn that, man. I used to be like, man, long I'm telling the truth, man. Nigga, fuck a nigga. That's it, you know. Man, sometimes you just got to leave that shit long, man. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> man, you stay so much bullshit. But I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I think I used to, uh, I used to be bored with regular life. A, a lot of that is maturity, and a lot of it is confidence too, though. Why well, used to be an action junkie? Yeah, but ju- mm-hmm. and then like when Attention people talk, whore. well, it was more like I like the. I'm gonna call you out. So when I do beat you up, no, I I, I I'm gonna tell you what I really got a, so a pleasure was. in. I used to sit back and just hear people talking, and then I don't know, it's just this little evil spirit be like, it is an evil spirit. I'm like, I'm about to, I know a nigga do me this shit. I'm finna test this nigga. But see, I don't want to test in front of everybody because everybody stand up in front of everybody. Even right. a bitch ass nigga gonna be like, man, we can do whatever you wanna do, nigga. See, when you catch a nigga by himself in a dark alley or like a Walmart bathroom or just some spot where they can't run to no homies, have no influence, I'm telling you, 90% of the time, you can have a good conversation with a nigga and really get down to the bottom of it if you just pull him to the side like a man. I ain't talking about booting up. I used to I used to boot up when I catch a nigga like, yeah, what's up, my bitch ass nigga? But now I be like, man, what, 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 what's going on, homie? What's the problem? Let's, let's, let's have a conversation. <clears throat> let's have a conversation. And guess what? Sometimes you find out, see, not everybody's mind can be twisted. Some people be twisting a nigga arm, twisting a nigga mind. And a build it up on you. Mm-hmm. And then some people got them hidden vendettas behind shit you don't even understand or don't even care about. Like if your girl like a lot of my pictures or she be reposting me a lot, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't I didn't go ask her for the do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Dane ain't never asked no nigga to be double clicking, putting that fire emoji always on her page. She ain't asked for that. DM. Jumping in the DM. Be sparing you. That's all a part of the game, bro. And, I, and I, I've learned to mind my business when it comes to that female shit. I don't be in my girl business. I don't be in her business. If she put it in my face, I'm going to jump on her trail. But I'm just saying, like, otherwise, I'm trying to find the next dollar because you going to pay the bills happy or you going to pay the bills depressed. Somebody, <laughs> somebody told me this. It just made so much sense. Mm-hmm. When, when either are a man or woman, if you ain't on your stuff, mm. And you got somebody that's on your side. Anything is liable to set you off. Because mm-hmm. men are always in constant competition. Whether they know it or not, they are mm-hmm. constant competition with, yeah. with another man. Especially when it comes to their broad. If you <laughs> not if you not doing what you do as a man or taking care of what you need to take care of as a man, mm-hmm. you will find every reason or uh, every ounce of insecurity that is to attract to. I, I noticed that in me and mine don't ever be like, I don't never look at nobody else and be like, I want what he got. You know what I'm saying? Or like, because I know what I've been through. I come from, I don't See, going to the bottom don't scare me because that's where I come from. Right. I come from nothing. So that's why I don't, that's why it ain't easy for a nigga to buy me because I fall off and you won't even know it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know how to maintain and, and, and make Feel things happen. Integrity. Right. But <clears throat> the thing with me is it don't my insecurity be as far as my manhood. 
Like, it don't ever be in comparison to another nigga because I be happy when I see niggas up. Right. I be happy to see niggas flip old schools and be balling. I be happy to see. I don't like that stupid shit, but I like to see a black man up. Right. <clears throat> and then in my mind, how I look at it, like, if he do it, I could do it. It don't be no, man, I don't know. And if my girl like that, even though I might not really want that to go like that, I'm, I've, I've taught myself to push her towards it. Yeah, but I ain't, I, I'm not even referring to her attention. I'm talking about the man. But or, that's or where it be coming person. from. Niggas be seeing their girl looking like they vibing with something and then they get jealous. See, I don't, I don't do that. And I done done it before, but I be like, you know, my attitude always been, even when I care, I didn't care. Go fuck with that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I but because I ain't gonna give you my man. But this the thing though, you can't stop nobody no, from doing that. I ain't gonna so. draw. I ain't gonna draw the attention to him and put the spotlight on him because at the end of the day, regardless if it's bad publicity or good publicity, if you if you if you doing the extra shit, you ain't doing nothing but turning the spotlight on me. You is shining on me. Whatever you did, him, please do it to me. <laughs> you know, like, whatever you did, Hunter's got her acting like that. Do that to me. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, you, you. It you, just don't get you nowhere. It don't. Things. And guess what? Nah, we can, we can have, like, I be trying to have more good days than bad no matter what. So it be like, <clears throat> I don't want to find no confusion. And I be feeling like I'm so Finally. chill sometimes. I feel like it be so smooth and then like you gotta watch who your people be fucking with cause like sometimes people hang with a bunch of negative toxic motherfuckers yep. and so they talking to their home girl. Yeah, resident did this again. Malcolm and I, I can't believe this girl. And, they, and they, your girl just like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you'll, you'll do. And then they bring that. Don't ever bring, bring that, that shit home, home man. They cause guess what? Home. Man, don't, don't, man, if, if you can't listen to that shit, and 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 and, and, and brush take it, it off and brush it off like damn that's fucked up what they going through man don't even get you you need to change your group of friends because all that negativity you be bringing in the house and, and you then, don't even realize it you attracting that this gonna be funny i really feel like <laughs> this man here yeah. i swear to god i feel like this i feel like some of my exes spoke me cheating into existing because they was on my ass what before i started cheating yeah. right oh you fucking wrong I'm like, Right, and then eventually I start fucking around. Yeah, because and I'm you, not making that my excuse, but right? But if you do it, if you constantly putting that in the atmosphere, that's where it's going. And it be full beef behind nothing. Yeah, and I be so mad they because be like, it. if I'd have caught the nut, it'd be different. If I'd have caught a nut, now we over here arguing. I'm still over here dry and we arguing. I ain't do nothing. But did but <clears throat> but was that person in that relationship that was doing the accusing? Were they on they shit all the way 100% when it came to you though? Was they 100% dedicated and and 100% on they shit when it came to the children, if they had children, to the household, to their job, to their own well, personal shit? If a woman a if a woman don't take care of her children, I can't fuck with. Yeah, absolutely. Her. Like uh, and if you don't I love children all the same, you know right. that about me. So me they mine. Ain't no step Yeah, cheering. I don't do step cheering, man. And, you know, and then if your baby daddy want to do something, I don't care. Right. Because, like, I love your child, and I ain't going to do you nothing in front. Our child. This nigga, this our child. Our child. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you, man. I, like, if you talk to your child, your child going to say, he make sure I eat. He make sure I'm protected. My hair cut. Man, I kill a nigga behind your child. My clothes. Hair my clothes, clothes. Fresh. New underclothes. Shoes. I know they size. If they stay with me, I know right. they size. I know if I'm in a store. I'm like, oh yeah, what you call him the six now? Boom, I'm gonna get the six. Right. He wear a size 12 C shoe, or she wear this number right. one wide. I, I'm gonna know the number, so I just buy stuff when I see it and like it. So, you know, a provider. insecurity, Dana, is a part of what a lot of these murders and beefs about. Because if you broke, <coughs> you ain't got no action, you ain't got no chain, you not you shining, upset. you broke, you in the gutter, your mama talking about keeping you out, you ain't in a stable situation, you ain't eating right. Instantly, murder, if you turn to a murder man, it, it take that pressure off. Because now, you got all these problems, but nigga ain't gonna tease you no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, in that fashion, but they don't use it as protective. They use it as prey. And they want a body so bad, they go get a body, and then you still empty. Now your soul different. You see what I'm saying? It don't be worth it, bro, when all you got to do is get off the scene. A lot of y'all could ball if you get off the scene. 
a lot of them will make a grand and got to hurry up and show it because they ain't had no motion in so long. And they like, look at these 20s. Look at this little 1200. Look at this little dog. My fucking mortgage 15, son. 12. Like, <clears throat> man, I dog. When y'all post that money, that shit pisses me off because it's like, what you doing my light bill money? My light bill was 700 No, right. no. It was 497 497 last yeah, energy month. raping y'all right now. And 245 this month. Nigga, you posted a green. That's two light bills. Man, you don't put that's that little some, shit up like that, Arsenio said? That's some people call note an insurance. Put that little shit up. Hey, that ain't nothing. Man. Make that again and again and again. Yeah. Keep making but that. They got to put it up there because they ain't got no women. They ain't, they ain't got no juice. They ain't got no money. They ain't got no motion. So you could tell the insecure got to always, yeah, man, you know. Yeah, I just got my chain off lay away or yeah man check me out. Look at my new piggy ring or nigga talk with their watch like yeah man, you know what I'm saying? I, I be trying to have my shit going, you know what I'm saying, but I just be thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 get the insecurity is making you feel like you gotta show more, but in real in reality, the less you show, the best you show. Because the motherfucker who love you who who didn't think you had nothing, man, that's real love, dude. Yeah. That's real love. The nigga who love you when your hair ain't fixed and your lashes ain't on, and how you gonna upset him? Oh shit! When I can't get out of the bed after I done had treatment, you feel me? Or, or, or I'm, I, I, I may can't eat or get up and cook. Or maybe can't clean the day because I'm weak. Like what you gonna do? You gonna, yeah. you gonna sit there in the midst of it, or you gonna, are you gonna actually survive, provide some kind of, some kind of aid? Even if don't, you don't have to clean it. Mm -hmm. Bring me some water. Mm -hmm. Bring me some tea. Yeah. You know, do do something compensated. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's what that's what you do when you when you, when you love a person. Right. You, you know, you 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 go to the extreme for that person. Yeah. If you love them, mm -hmm. you know. But let's talk about Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about bitch ass niggas today. <laughs> nah, dog, let's Kanye. talk about this whole this this whole here. <laughs> nah, Kanye, I I, I done took up for you a little too many times. Even when you had your breakdown with Kim and even going through that because I sympathize with you as a black man, you know, I, the, the, strugg the struggles that you go through in life, I sympathize with you. I still sided with you. Even when you was doing the stalker stuff on social media about you, saying it was about your children, it was really about Pete Davidson. But it's all good. Not, not white lies, man. You yeah, trying to kill white people. lies <laughs> matter, bro. <clears throat> When, when these people have all the privilege there is, white lives matter. Hey, Pete ought to get a shirt and say thanks, Kanye. Thanks. <laughs> My life does matter. <laughs> white lives matter. On oh, the way to fuck Kim. <laughs> and this is, yeah, right now. That's that bit of baby all daddy shit. All on our forehead. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, get in there, Pete. <laughs> like, that's crazy to me. Why? I might go get a Go Pete Go shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is so crazy to me. Like, and some people, like, real life, we talking about him, but he need prayer. Yeah. He need, because them demons <clears throat> whipping him. Yeah. Ain't been right since, um, what's her name, Donda? Yeah. Ain't been right since Donda died. Yeah. Ain't been right. He wasn't really right before she died. It just it, it, it sent him into a spiral. He, he Alcohol and drugs side. play a major part, too. And, and insecurities, like he said, mm -hmm. he had went got fat and went had surgery, and, and didn't want people to tease him because he was fat. Nigga, if you fat and you rich, it don't matter. Why right. you worrying about how you look? Man, like you got road. female, you got female tendencies. Yeah, that's that's not cool. That's that all the child syndrome. That's and not just that only got child, any siblings. That I don't know. I thought he did, but I don't. I don't know. If you got only siblings, I just know you was a single, you was raised by a single mother. So a mm -hmm. lot of her tendencies you have. Some of the emotions that our men have, we not supposed to exhibit them. So Kanye on his period. Kanye on his menopause. <laughs> He's on menopause. <laughs> He's on menopause. Yeah. Hey, that yeah, dude, yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You, you know uh, what that is, graduation CD? I work out to that CD. But now it's like, bro. You so drop morally out, corrupt. The dropout CD was fine. Yeah, he, he 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 got some hits, man. But it's like he's a genius. He's a comes genius. To stuff. Even taking <clears> them, <throat> even taking the Christian, even taking our gospel music and flipping it like you can is undeniable. I tried. It. You like that CD? That man is undeniable. Well, no, talented. talented. Yes, I, I didn't like oh that CD though. Because maybe, maybe it didn't have. I'm talking about what I heard and snippets of what this went on. 
certain stuff that I don't like. I ain't if I ain't if I ain't feeling it in my spirit, I ain't listening to it. Mm. I mean, it's just certain stuff. And you could be cold blooded, but I'm not even tuning into it. Like they got a lot of artists that people be talking about. I don't know nothing about because I'ma stick to what I know that has been giving me the the real since the beginning. Like you know, I'm gonna shout out Kevin Gates. You know, but. People like that. <laughs> <laughs> People uh, like that. What'd you, you say, know, Kanye? You attention whore? Uh, attention seeker and whore. Oh, okay. Like God, he a prima donna. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. Don't do that. All right. Um, yeah. Kanye, attention whore. Yep, at ADD. Okay. That's like the, like like Top just said. <laughs> say what? Say what? Dana. <clears throat> this, this, I wonder why that. Hey, I, did, Darnell. Did, did you see that? Uh, where they was in a part of Arkansas, where they put up black lives. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. old. You know when that came out? When? When? If I'm not mistaken, either Phil, Phil Castro and Elton Sterling, because they was back to back. They came out then. It's kind of old. So that was like 2016. That's been floating mm. around. And that white man went out there with that sign that say Black, Black Lives, Lives Matter. Matter. And boy, they were putting over. <laughs> you better not be out here when I get back here. You're cool. <laughs> You're <laughs> cool. <cute. laughs> what do what you say about Jesus? Didn't they say something about Jesus? No, they say, man, you're white. <laughs> you're white. What do you mean black lives matter? Our lives matter, too. And you hey, better not be here in two hours when I get back. Ain't, ain't it funny how you could say, my life matters, right. and somebody will instantly take it like their life don't matter. Right. That's like if I say, oh, this this motherfucker over here good, and a motherfucker nothing. Mm, I'm good, too. I ain't yeah, I hate that. That's that weak shit, yeah, right? I hate that. Oh, if you say, I'm pretty, mm-hmm. I'm, well, I'm pretty too. What are you trying to say? Bitch, something wrong with you. Why I can't say that I'm great, I'm beautiful, and my life matter. Without or taking it out for you. Motherfucker that look like me life matter because we've seen so many times where it's like their life don't matter. And it's like, and then this is the other thing. They like to say. What up, when, What up, Liam? When people get in, in uh, up in money, right? Like with Lizzo and other people, they was like, Oh, uh, look at them. Oh, uh, Issa Rae and all them. They they had something to say about them. Like, look at them from their uh, mansions and this, this, and that. No, them people that overcome who didn't a fall lot. asleep on their people and what's really going on. A lot. So when you see a rich, successful uh, entertainer still taking up for black people, that's what they supposed to do. Right. Because they know how hard it was for them to get through and how many boundaries and obstacles they had to come through just because they were black. And just because they made it don't mean they lay down on their people. And still the injustices that we're we're facing on a daily basis. If you're tapped in, like they 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 talk stuff about Issa because she married she married uh, uh, another person another race. They talk about her. Because she pro she black though. Oh, I, shit, my daughter in an interracial relationship and she is <laughs> pro black and stand one hundred percent on her with, with her rocking with her afro. That don't make her. Yeah, that yeah. don't that don't disclaim her. That, that's who just she fell in love with. Guess what? As a father, if the motherfucker treats you good, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, I grew up under that same stuff. You got to think about it. My daddy stepped out of line with my mama. You know what I'm saying? But I come from the area where they used to teach me, man, stay away from them white girls. Stay away from them white girls. They're going to they gonna call this. They're going to get you in trouble. I grew up under a bunch of that, and I don't know if that messed me up because I like them dark as I don't know what, or brown. You got to be brown or better. But they, they, I love them as friends. I got white homegirls that's friends, and I right. love them to pieces. And some of them are gorgeous. They just don't, they don't do it for me. Yeah, because you already know, like, you ain't one. <clears throat> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about men who, who, these niggas, not even men, <laughs> these niggas. Let's talk about talk them about who always think a woman want them. Oh, I don't like that. Or, or always think, yeah, they can get you. That's corny. Because you see me having a good time and I'm out here dancing or I'm in my groove. Man, she ready. Ready like, for like what? This, like this, B. Oh, excuse me. You, you drop your keys. All right, all right. You seen that? That bitch want me. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> Let me get my key. No, see, niggas like that, man. I, it's all right to love yourself, dog, but it got to be a balance somewhere. To me, man, I I, I, I be missing it. People be flirting with me and it be over my head. Mine too. I thought they were just being nice. 
Yeah, I don't be knowing. I had a motherfucker at the top. She told me one time I couldn't read. Oh, you, you know how to read between lines. I don't. I don't. But see, I don't like rapists. I like right. permission. I'm right. not aggressive. But right. once you give it to me, it's over with. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I like permission. So I be on some, man, tell me what you want because you ain't finna turn no shit around on me later. Tell me, oh, we had a great night. We had, I told him no. Stuff. No, bitch, you said... You want to do that to me. The Mike Tyson and, yeah, and Tupac me. No, you ain't gonna do me that, man. You gotta come right. out. They, they, look, I'm dumb as fuck when it comes to that shit. Like, I, I, I done had my run, and uh, I had my little arrogant moments when I was in, in high school, when I was light skinned with good hands and did push ups every day. Yeah, when you had the two plaids. Yeah, like when the I had the long hair, yeah, everybody want to yeah. hair. <laughs> you know, I, I done had them, them moments, but I, I ain't, I, I still don't just think, I never thought like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't see it like that. Like, <laughs> I done been trying to be charming and shit, but I, uh, that's an arrogant man. An arrogant man ain't, ain't, ain't what's up. It ain't, ain't, you know, be confident, brother. Confidence. Make sure. But but yeah. humble. Yeah, and I don't be like humble. the word humble. Oh, you don't? Mm-mm. Okay. I like meek. Meek. Humble is for servants and slaves. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That, there's that, another, there's <laughs> a second definition behind that, though. Yeah. I mean, you, you got to realize the English language only have about 5,000 words in it. Mm. Latin and all the rest of them may have 35,000 words in it. Mm. So when it's translated to our language, we lose we lose some of that original meanings, the origins of those words. Yeah. So that's that's why the pa- passion could also mean suffering. But you know why but else you I think like me? Passion. You think of love, lust. Go get the book. Yeah, the go meek, get it. The meek shall inherit the earth. Okay. The meek shall inherit the earth. But I'm saying the translation is a breakdown in a, in when, once that word is translated. That's why you have so many people that tell you our the, 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 the Holy Bible can't be considered, you know, to be, to be, hey, legit because of the translations and, and the Quran never been translated. So that, What's a lot up, of that. Gene? Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. Me, I'm about to get us a word for the day. And Dana, I, I, as far as Kanye, man, I don't know if I spoke on him. I think he's uh he's he's quite funny. He's a funny guy. Uh, and I, I I think he know how to get the people riled up to keep attention. And I, I think he know how to he does ignorant uh, publicity stunts. Um, to fuel people up and get people all hyped up and mad at him. Donald Trump is his idol. Yeah, but the the genre that he is the, that he be riding right now, <laughs> they're gonna instantly love Uncle Ruckus. Like he on some Uncle Ruckus shit, right? But guess what they gonna do? They gonna support. They hate us so much. They gonna support the hell out of Yeah. Yeah. But they ain't the biggest consumer though. So he'll be back. He'll be back trying to be black again. One day soon, you know what I'm saying? He'll be back on his black shit. The word for the day, Dana, we're going to do uh, obliterate. To destroy utterly, wipe out. Cause to become invisible or indistinct. Blot out. And I'm going to blot Kanye out of the Black History program. You can't come no more, Kanye. Because we want, I want to do the draft like uh, like uh, Deja Bell had. Huh. We'll do it again. <laughs> what white boy are we taking? We taking Pete out of being spiteful? <laughs> Y'all give me take... chance. Give me chance. You can you can send us Chance Hanks. Which who that is? That's from the show that you was on. The, he was the one with the tattoos. The the cousin who ended up murking the other one. Who, oh, you, on, it, on Showtime. Yeah, he he six side told. He was oh, the yeah. one who he was the one who was supposed to be the gangster. Yeah. And he took the stand and he got popped off. Yeah, we'll take him. We'll take chance. We need to check his background a little bit too. We need to do reverse ancestry.com. Like we need to check where all the racist people that be in the video talking loud and proud and check reversely who they people is in this day and see what position they in. I guarantee you will find so many like you, you ever see them videos when them people say, oh, it's about this neighborhood, it's like from the, the 60s and 70s, like yeah, uh, we, we, we removed this neighborhood because it was all white. You know, there's a color over here. And I'm talking about they was having a meeting and a press conference about a black person finally being able to move into that neighborhood. I'm talking about they was mad. I want to find out their government name and just check their family tree all the way down to who living right now. And I want to see where them niggas is at right now. I, to be honest with you, 
racism is taught, as as we know. It is. I don't care what your dad and them believe. I don't care what what do you believe. What do you stand on? What do you think about this? Yep. That's what I want to know. I, I was watching a documentary last night. As it's called Who We Are, on on um Netflix, and I also watched The Civil with Ben Crump. Uh, shout out to so Sick and Slim. I uh, had a conversation with him this weekend. He put me on it. What up, but, Slim? But um, it was it was going back to telling people. Some people don't even realize that they are being racist when they're being racist mm. because that's their train of thoughts. That's what they believe. That's what they think. So they look at us through lenses that's they either warped or they dirty. Mm-hmm. You know. So is is he he was just explaining. You know, uh, in front in their face, explaining to them. You know how this is offensive. Now take your take your same scenario and put it on you. How would you have felt? That's what he had a chance to do. And and, and what's it the was, name of it? Uh, who we are. Okay. Uh, I want to see that one where they took they got all them uh, the white ladies in there and start talking about what they say. The Karens. De- deconstructing. Deconstruct. Karen. Deconstruct the Karen. I want to watch that and then we come back and talk about that. I think it's gonna come out too, dude. For real. And hey. <coughs> I want to say this. Over the weekend, we um, get our ways, um, um, join forces with uh, the Baton Rouge Community Street Team to support the uh, the felons, the convicted felons, the ex-convicts. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a, a reunion because I used the word picnic and the man schooled me real quick. Mm. He was like, I don't like the word picnic because picnic means pick a nigga. Oh, Pick a nick, and then what they used to do, but it's not the derivative from it. That's the way. That's the way it is because it. I I, I read it. I, I pulled it up after he sparked that interest that. in me. What they used to do back in the days was take somebody who they felt did a heinous crime or uh, some some. Or, th- or they, and they lied and out. said, "Oh yes. my God, they couldn't they touch said, my hand." But they said he did something. It didn't matter what it was. But they took a. Uh, uh, one of the ones that was really thought about was when they took them horses and put the 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 man strapped his arms and 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 that, made the horses run and tear body up. Yeah, that's Levi's logo. And yeah, but they that was brought up. Not only that, so was how they hung them from trees or they tortured them, and they sat and ate their sandwiches that was made from home on blankets. So yeah. Tie him up and hit him. Play nigga knock. Can we? Can we? See, hit the baby. See, then, 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 then see that. Dude, I just get, I get mad when we talk about it. Right? But we have to be informed, though. I know. But it's like then they have the audacity to still feel like we, we ain't got no right. No type of way. We ain't got no right to be and upset Black about Lives it. Should, did Black Lives Matter? Then? No, it, it never. That shows you that it never did. Like we weren't, we weren't considered to be humans. We wasn't not considered to even be in the positions where we're able to talk on on Instagram. Well, I tell y'all this: if Kanye come to Baton Rouge and I get close enough to him, I'm gonna slap the shit out of him. <laughs> One time, I'm, I'm gonna do it for. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blame it. If not. I bet not say I did it for Lil Boosie. They gonna try to say we a game. I'm gonna just slap the shit out of Kanye. I get close to him. I wanna hear this shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With that, with that in yeah. Head. I love that about them. I, I got some conservative tendencies now. Yeah. They, they you know you didn't even call me a Republican one time, remember? <laughs> they go, you're Republican <laughs> shit. <laughs> they conniving. Yeah, and you gotta appreciate it. Just like all them people that rushed the Capitol. 
See, I ain't gonna lie. I be seeing ways that some fights, man, we be messing up. It's always better to have them on public display to where we can uh, uh, reach the media. See, the social media is not being used wrong. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Somebody sent me a video, and when I it was a video of a, of a dude beating his girl up, right? Mm -hmm. Then the next video they compiled it together was the girl brother. I'm talking about literally with the gun, smoking dude while you sleep, right? You can see the shots, you can see the hitting the body and everything. Now I saw this on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. But if I start telling the truth, or if I say certain, I can't even curse on Instagram, but I can go see a nigga get killed on Instagram. Let's talk about that. <clears throat> All I paid, I get away 2.0 ain't did shit. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about that. It stops you. Mm. We right. talking about that school stuff, cause guess what? This is what they won't school say. School boys, the, the city the, council. The, the day of hope, right? We posted this side first. We got their report. We, we we checked it out. We like, hey man, that's not fair. We put it up. Then after we put it up, the people spoke. That's why I love community news. That's, right. It, it ain't one side. We ain't just like WFB here. This is what happened to my poor little child. They sticking with that. 300 kids can go knock on the door at WFB and WB, they ain't going to let them in. But over here, everybody got a voice. Everybody. We, we, we posing both sides. Because yeah. we unbiased, completely yeah. unbiased. Yeah. You figure out the truth. Even you know in, even in, even our discussions, as, as, as as you know, the getaway staff, even our our discussions, we don't all agree on Shit some no. of the things, mm -mm. you know. But that's that's that that goes back to what you believe in and what you stand on. But let me take it back to this this ghetto reunion. I mean the um, oh yeah, yeah. The, the, <laughs> the reunion. And the, the shout out to them family. guys, man. We, I want to help them, Dana, because that's the key to a lot of things. They try to put that F on our report card one yeah. to make sure we can't carry guns and protect ourselves right. and organize. Our vote. Ima our vote. Because, you see, when you organize and it's a, it's, imagine a thousand legal black men with guns with who guns. saying you ain't gonna play with us like that. Not no more. You didn't took my life. You didn't, you didn't took my freedom. So I, I said, I got some videos that I, that uh, they, they're gonna be up on that uh, Ghetto Ways show um page but it i took some pictures with people who had done 42 years mm. 52 years 37 years 25 years and these men came together on their own mm -hmm. no you know this started in new orleans with a with a man named reggie on his own he he said he kept meeting people that he did time with at funerals mm. so what he decided to do was do a gathering mm -hmm. where all of them t could come out and, you know, meet, see each other. What's the catch name up of on the organization? Life. It's called Another Chance Reunion. Okay. That's what it's called. Another Chance Reunion. And um, everybody who, who are part of it, they'll be like, it's the ex-convicts or the convict. And I was like, <laughs> I get it. I, I get like it. it though, cause I man, like it, too. We try to run from it and, we, you know, we get expungements and everything else, but it's like... It is what it is, dog. And them the best people. Them the people you go learn from. See, they right. society tell you run from it. Right. He's an ex con. Hell no, nah, man. My niggas that I talk to in Angola is way positive than right. my homeboys that's free with two legs in a house and, and got a car and everything. And jugging. I'm talking about. I man, was in a relationship man. with somebody in jail. They paid more bills than the people out here. Man, it's some, I'm dude, talking dude. about. Okay, we ain't talking about that. But look. Yeah, cool. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But one of my niggas. What you mean you woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Hold up, man. Give me woo, 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 woo. Let's I'm get talking it. about nigga pulled up on me like yeah. Right quick. Uh, yeah. I'm, that, I'm talking about from the can. Real that day make changed, it calls. That, a long time yeah. ago, that day changed my life. I said I ain't gonna never have a, a dude Doubt. in jail. I'm talking Got about reach. not the halfway. <laughs> Got reach. I called him on his phone. Got I said, reach. did he need some money? He said, man, you need something? Right. I'm good. Man, it's different type of it's different type of people out here, man. I'm telling you, dog. But I, I you know what? I'm gonna tell you, Dana. Everybody be trying to run to certain people to learn, but street kids need to run to this organization and learn from these brothers who it's lost. It's not even an organization decades. yet, and that's what I was just about to say. 
what we what we gonna um like they got so many who want to just talk to the youth give back to them every man that i talked to they talked about the current state of our our kids mm -hmm. you know and and what they seeing and the reasons why they feel like this, that, and the other. And every last one of them is willing to mm. donate time, spend but time. But check this out. Get with them. From your perspective, what was their character and energy like? Humble. Not humble, but meek. Meek and positive. Oh, yeah. But, supportive. but also strong. Mm -hmm. Masculinity. Mm -hmm. Standing on true masculinity. Oh, being true in them. Now watch this. Now, all them came from jail, right? Right, gentle. That just showed you. I'm showing people when I said, remember they was like, oh, when they changed them bond laws in yeah. Chicago, it's going to be. No, when niggas get out of jail, they don't be. Look, certain niggas be trying to go back to jail. You know, it's just a certain little It be mentally ill. That be trying to go to jail because they can't. They don't they want to They punk survive. in there. Yeah, and but, that type of shit. But majority of niggas who get out of jail be trying to get the hell from around it. Get off paper. And they don't even want to be around other men like talking Man, about it. I'm telling you, dog, people being released from jail ain't going to cause no damn purge. Niggas going to get out of jail and go try to do something that they couldn't do in all those years. Don't let these people trick you into thinking that if you get rid of bond or if you get rid of Amendment Seven, that's that that the one that's where the, it, it's still legal to be a slave and get right. paid two cents an hour. No, do not. Y'all got to get off that old Jim Crow ass shit right. and learn a new way of thinking, brother. The, the way they've been teaching us is is all the way incorrect. Ain't nothing gonna happen if people don't go to jail. Get what? If I if I got to bang a nigga up today. And I go to jail, I ain't trying to bang nobody else up because I don't need no double charges stacked up. They're right. going to deny my bond. I'm on my best now. behavior while I'm fighting my cases. You feel what I'm saying? So all that noise, people be talking about, oh, it's going to let a bunch of criminals out. Nigga, y'all criminals, y'all just ain't get caught. You called the goddamn uh, chief. Of, chief, they got Harry again. He didn't, he didn't, you know, you know. But can you get him? Sure, I'll Thank take you, care of it. Thank you. You see what I'm saying? Boom, right. they let him go. You got connections. You got the little black and blue sticker where when they pull you over, they know you police family. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, stop all that, bro. Ain't no damn purge or none of that shit gonna happen if you free the money. Let niggas out of jail. The Let money. them come take care of their children, their mama. Give them a chance. Yeah. You, you talk about how, how it costs you all that money to house them. How you call, but you steady bringing in commerce off of these people. You're steady bringing in an income off of them. The, the Angola Rodeo is going on this Sunday, every Sunday in the month of October. They've been sold out, you know, the last two weeks. If you don't Big have a money. ticket, you can't even go in. But I said all that to say we need to support. Our, in our communities, we need to support and build something for people that's coming home. Because yeah. so many and keep men, the rapists. And keep, keep yeah, the keep the rapists in the Keep the rapists and the, yeah. the sex offenders. And yeah, keep, keep them. them yeah. And, and I, people who, and, who hurt and, the elderly. And, if you believe and please children. keep niggas who hurt the elderly. Yeah. Niggas who mess over their mom or their family. Man, keep all them niggas. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Rats don't understand this. If you God rat, forget that. If you rat on a nigga, if you rat on a nigga, they go rat on you. Keep the rats too, since they like telling on nigga put niggas in jail. Go, go ahead and get that nigga karma. What if karma paid a rat back? You got a nigga ten years and you gotta go do thirty. <laughs> I I I I know I somebody with a rat. You happen. ran it on the whole click and got still got thirty years. What you ran it for? <laughs> uh huh. Why? Yeah, Cause you're trying to be. Yeah. What you, ain't? you already know. You, 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 yeah, oh, a, a dumb man. rat. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. But guess what? You can only pose for so long. Oh yeah, the, you, you can only pose for so long before your 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 thong starts showing. Yeah, your slip yeah. your slip showing. Your slip showing. You bent over and tie your shoes. Yeah. Nigga, see your G string. See you your slip. <laughs> you ain't built, cuz. <laughs> and that's sad. But get what? And this is the other thing. Let's talk before we get up out of here. Kids, they got a whole page I just found, dog. And at first I was like, man, I, I don't know how. To, I don't want to put it out there, but look. They got a page that reposts every stupid criminal thing that people say. <laughs> so if a nigga say, yeah, I'm finna spin on such and such, and I ain't gonna lie, I kinda like the page, but I don't wanna promote it because it ain't. Please it, don't. I can't, you know what I'm saying? But if a nigga dumb enough to it's put evidence. it on the internet, I just wanna tell that page, keep reposting them dumb ass niggas, man. If a nigga wanna say, yeah, I spent on such and such, they they record it. That and is evidence. Put it together and say, such and such said this about such and such. Now it's messy, right? That's probably why I like it. But 
If I'm stupid enough. It's causing enough, people to die, though. Yeah, but they is dumb. They look, are. Look, look, the page ain't dumb. Right. The nigga who said it to get a page power is dumb. But they ain't going to stop because they need clout. Our the mind the way these the way our youth mind is wired, social media is ninety five percent of where the pro and not that that number exaggerated. I'm just saying in my own mind that's not no stats that's facts in my mind. Straight up that not nobody else's mind. Well, man, mind. It count. It count. Right. Ninety five percent of most of the beef come from social media. Do, man, that's why I tried to kill the internet. But they made it like I was doing a bad thing. See, see, it, 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 check this out. This is what y'all got to realize. There's no mental health check to get on the internet. You don't have to be checked to see if you real. No sick. background. No background check. So, man, I done seen rats traveling the world taking pictures with all kinds of celebrities, man. And them people don't know. They don't. You, you can't keep up with all that, man. It, not everybody following smooth yet. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just bad. But that page, I'm about to follow that page today. I, 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 I feel like it's a conflict of injury. But it ain't the page fault, Dana. That's just like if if girls keep putting naked pictures out for free, and I we keep taking the pictures and sending them to our homeboys in jail. That's a free plug. You dumb, right? You dumb. That's your dumb ass keep posting half naked pictures and then we send them to the niggas in jail, right? Right. You did it. We ain't actually do it. You like check out my lives and check out my OnlyFans. But these dudes keep posting. Yeah, spin on this man. Nigga need to get active. Who go online and say I'm finna commit buku crimes? Them people. My phone. From social media. It's easy to be a police. You can sit in the AC with an Instagram page and bust everybody. Man, oh, look at this one. Nice, nice car. I like this. How much money you think that is? They probably that's, that's probably just ones in the middle. No, that's probably that. No, that's real money right there. We need, man, y'all give the police the whole case and then won't go to jail and and, and holler about free you and all this other. Man, you want to go to jail. Ain't nobody hollering for free you. Mm -mm. Go where you want to go. It's the other F. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's your dumb ass. <laughs> we don't have much time left, y'all. Uh, we had to jump on, you know, uh, my page because of, um, <laughs> Because our you. other page was being stupid. Look, that, we got 54 look what it said. Left. On that on that thing where I seen a dude physically kill they, they videoed him shooting the dude, right? It said, you know I say, see why this video is, is, is uh, such and such violent. And then it hit you got you can click at the bottom where you see it. Why y'all don't do that to my post when I be saying shit? Like just put on there how could that not be against the guideline, but me telling what I feel ain't against the guideline? It's got to be some factual shit, man. <laughs> Y'all, we out of here. That's crazy, This, though. this, the, our, our time is out. Catch us next week at the same time, 8 a.m. Hopefully our pages are unblocked at that point. We need Petty Court. And Petty Court, hit me up. It's good we rescheduled because we'd have been blocked. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Getaways Morning Show. Thank y'all. Thank you. Be blessed. Say.